The Maruti Alto K10 is back. Over this video, we'll talk of the key things you need to know about it. First things first, the Alto K10's price. The hatchback is available with a manual gearbox in four trims with prices starting at 3.99 lakh rupees ex showroom and topping off at 5.33 lakh rupees. There's also the option of Maruti's AGS system that's essentially an automated manual transmission or AMT. The Alto K10 AMT is only available in the top two trims and is 50,000 rupees pricier than the manuals. The Alto K10's pricing makes it about 25,000 rupees more affordable than the Espresso that is closest in size and power. Notably, the Alto K10 will sell alongside the 800cc Alto that remains the most affordable Maruti car on sale. The new Alto K10 is new right from under the skin, being the latest Maruti model to be built on Suzuki's hardtech platform. In size, however, it's near identical to the old Alto K10 that was last on sale two years ago. The basic shape is conventional hatchback and styling is sweet. A large grille occupies prime real estate up front with simple headlights atop. You'll find smooth lines at the sides, though it's the 13-inch wheels that you'll make note of. They do appear small even for this size of car. There's nothing out of the ordinary at the back with a neat and tidy tail end. The new Alto K10's cabin looks more inviting than the last gen models even if the interior doesn't break new ground. The dashboard is smart and what new age buyers will appreciate is the incorporation of a touchscreen infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Other frills on the top spec VXI Plus versions include a four-speaker sound system, steering-mounted audio and phone controls, a digital instrument cluster and front power windows. The new Alto K10 conforms to India's latest crash test standards but hasn't been tested by Global NCAP as yet. Standard safety features include dual airbags, ABS with EBD and rear parking sensors. Sadly, there's no rear defogger or rear wash wipe. Maruti says the new Alto K10 is roomier than the earlier model with greater front and rear knee room and ingress egress has improved as well. Coming to the engines. The new Alto K10 runs Suzuki's K-Series 1.0-litre three-cylinder petrol engine. The engine makes 66.6 horsepower and 89 Nm, which are reasonable figures. However, the main numbers of interest for buyers will be for fuel economy. With the 5-speed manual gearbox, the Alto K10 delivers an ARAI-tested economy of 24.39 kpl and with the 5-speed AMT, it delivers 24.9 kpl. Helping achieve the numbers is the engine's use of dual variable valve timing and dual jet tech. A CNG version of the Alto K10 is also expected soon. As for competition, the only direct rival for the Alto K10 comes from the Renault Quid. However, given the Alto K10's pricing, buyers are likely to cross shop within Maruti's portfolio amongst the Alto, Alto K10 and Espresso. So that's a quick snapshot of the new Alto K10. What do you think of it? Let us know in the comments. We'll be driving the new Alto K10 in the coming days to give our thoughts, so be sure to subscribe to Autoka India.